Okay, next stage. Having shown that we can punch lower thirds and graphics with key graphics with alpha channels, graphics with keys over our foreground sources, or the program output sources like that. What we'd like to do is we'd like on the on the screen to be able to preview what we're going to see when we punch that up. Now that uses a feature called DSK tie, which is again on one of these buttons in the right hand corner. You can see there DSK1 tie, DSK2 tie. You can have a second downstream key, not at the same time, but you can set one up so that you can have one or a second. You can change between them. Um, but in this case, normally you just set up DSK1. So if I push DSK1 tie, actually, before I do that, let me set up something on the preview bus, because at the moment we don't have anything there. So I'll go back to our color bars again, just as I did before. Put that on the preview bus. So you see we've got color bars on the left-hand side, our main picture with our downstream key on the right-hand side. Let me turn the downstream key off. There you go. So just as we had before, you can cut between those sources, program preview, just like we did before. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to push that downstream key tie button up here. Just push that, it lights up. And what you see happens is the downstream key now sits onto, on what's in the preview window, what's on the preview bus. So in this case, it's our color bars with our downstream key, but it's sitting on the preview bus because we have the downstream key tie button selected. So when you now want to go and bring that on, that gives you the chance to look at what's on that lower third before it actually goes on the main output. So if I now try and do the main transition by hitting the cut button on the main program bus, it doesn't just cut up, it doesn't just bring up what's on the preview bus, the color bars. It also brings up the downstream key as well, because the downstream key is tied to the preview bus. So if I push that cut button on program to pre preview to program, it brings up the, the preview, the preview source, in this case the color bars, with the downstream key already applied. So if you were doing a throw to somebody live in the field or whatever, you could have that set up on the preview bus ready to go. When you want to transition, you just push the single cut button on the main program bus. There it's gone. There it's back. The other thing you can do, if you see on over there, you can actually take a look and see what's on that particular lower third. If you had more lower thirds stored on different stills, on different media players in the system, again, more on media players later, but if you had more, more than one lower third stored, say for example, down here, if we had stuff stored on media player 4, on downstream key, you push that, and you would see different information. So there's one still, there's one, one media player, media player 3, push media player 4, and you'll see even before you send those lower thirds out to be viewed on the main screen, you can actually preview them and see what's there. Okay? So you change it, you, put, you change it, you cut it up, and you've got a different lower third that comes in. You cut it away, different source, different pictures come on, and while, while you're doing that, you prep the next one to come up, and when you're ready, you cut that up, and your lower third has changed. So you can do all that on the preview bus before you actually cut it out to the main output of the mixer.